once you have the SunGrow app downloaded and you have your password details from an email that is sent out to you, make sure you hit the more button and select your server. So the server we want is the Australian server, even though we're here in New Zealand, it's the closest one we have. Your dashboard will be the first thing that comes up. It says overview and you'll see there is a live diagram showing you what is happening on site. So this site does have a battery, as you can see to the bottom left of the diagram, that is currently at 32.6%. The weather isn't great around New Zealand as I'm filming this. The solar is generating 2.231 kilowatts. That's the the top of the graph and the middle is what the house is consuming. So currently the house is consuming everything that is being generated. Now you can see on the top left of the live diagram that there's a little clock and it's green and it is ticking. So that little clock is showing you whether you are getting live data or not. If that is not green then that means that your system has disconnected from Wi-Fi and you are not getting accurate data. So that is something to keep in mind. Now you can see real time power 433 watts so that is what is happening in real time as you scroll down there's a lot more stats that you can look through self-consumption of pv is how much you have used today so that's today's yield 2.5 kilowatt hours battery charging from the pv pv is just a fancy word for photovoltaic which is your solar panels so the battery has charged 1.9 kilowatt hours and feed in energy from the pv is at zero kilowatt hours if you scroll down a bit further it's going to show you revenue i will show you how you can put in your power bill detail so that you can get a total on your revenue. So today the customer has made $2.37 New Zealand cents and if you scroll further past that you can see kind of a live diagram of the different parts of your home's system. So you can toggle the different colors. So if you just want to look and see what the solar is generating you leave that orange color on and you can see as it goes throughout the day what it looks like. So if we go back a day, it was pretty terrible weather this day. Um, you can see that the PV, which is orange, should always look like it is kind of following a curve because as you can imagine, the sun goes up as it's creeping up, the power will generate more. At the middle of the day, you're gonna see heaps of power and then it'll go down as the day continues. Now this customer does have a battery. So if I toggle on the battery, you can see when it has been charging. So that is during the middle of the day. It has been working hard at charging. So that's the, uh, the when the graph goes down instead of upwards, that's when it's charging. Whereas discharging is when it is above the axes. So that is just the overview. And honestly, you can look at all that and that is going to give you more than enough. But what you can see on the top right hand side of the site is the three dots. Now, if you've used <laughs> any tools ever you know that that is going to be advanced settings so we click in there and what you can see is tariff now tariff is where you can put in details for your power bills and that is maybe what you want to use so you can compare the two your monitoring versus your power bill so the units you want it to be in nzd because we're in new zealand feed in tariff is how much your power company is paying you for energy so if you have excess energy how many cents are they paying you consumption is how much you are paying them which is always a big difference now if you are a customer of certain power companies that have different power rates at different times of day you can select and toggle the time of use tariff and then you can go through and add the different times of day and add what power consumption are what what costs you are looking at for those different times of day and once you have set that all up you just click confirm and that is all set so any money figures that is given in your overview will give you an idea of what you should be expecting with your power bill now to look at setting a reserve capacity so when you're looking at your dashboard you want to hit device and select energy storage system might even be called hybrid inverter select that device because that is your battery and scroll along the menu at the top through to the right until you hit settings Hit power control and select backup enabled.
When we enable that, it shows reserved battery state of charge for off-grid. And that is how we set a reserve capacity. We select that, and now we're going to put in the percentage of battery we want to have during a power cut. So in this case, we're putting in 5%. Maybe if you have a lot of loads, you would put in 15%, and that is how much the battery will save just in case for a power cut. And then you confirm those settings, and you will get a little notification down the bot bottom and the top of your app. Now, if you have free hours of power, you might want to charge from the grid every now and then. Again, you're selecting device and select your battery under energy storage system or hybrid inverter. Select that and scroll across to settings. Now, what we're doing here is we're encouraging the battery to take energy from the grid to back itself up. And it's great when you've got free hours of power. Select energy management parameters, and then you're going to look at forced charging. When we select that, we want to enable it because we are forcing the charge to come from the grid. And you scroll down and it gives you a whole bunch of time frames to enter when you want to be taking that free hour of power. So the force charging day, we're going to select every day. You can toggle it to just weekdays. But if you go out every day between 9 and 10 p.m., you select every day and then you hit a start time and an end time. Something to note is it is a 24 hour clock. So if you're looking at night time, make sure uh, you're adding 12 onto the number that you are hoping for. Once you have set the start time and the end time, we're looking at the target state of charge that we're aiming for from the grid. And this we want to be 100%, right? Because if it has the chance to, let's get it all the way up to 100%. Set that and you can do a second time frame if you've got two times of day where you've got a low charge on power. And then hit apply settings. Now to reconnect your Wi-Fi if you're having trouble with that, go onto the device of your choice. Maybe it's an iPad, an iPhone, an Android. Go onto the Wi-Fi and select the Wi-Fi that is SG dash various numbers. Once that's connected, go onto your SunGrow app, go onto your settings, go WLAN configuration, and make sure you are connecting to now your home network from the device. Select your home network, put in the password details, and you are all good to go. And once that's connected, your SunGrow should be connected to the internet. If you have any further issues, please do let us know.